this is the review of the Lumix S5-2X. Cinematic opening. Check. Random leaves on the floor. Check. Dead plants in autumn. Check. Close up of detail. Check. Obligatory shot of model testing autofocus and skin tone. With a little bit of a dolly zoom thrown in. Check. And obviously, no review is complete without a revolving camera with LED lights. Check. Not quite sure the ominous music is helping the second native ISO art at all. But uh, it's okay, but no Sony. Anyone else tired of the usual same old? YouTube reviews about gear and tech. It's sometimes nice to uh, poke a bit of fun at oneself. Yeah, a tire of London. Let's get out of here. Maybe some cheesy stuff music will improve the image quality. Nothing quite sells cinema like wet cobwebs. Nice bit of complimentary colour detail, check. It is actually nice that Lumix allow you to use your existing EF glass to use it eye autofocus with their phase detect, so yeah, it's a big win. Anyway, enough of that. Moving on. Oh wait, back to the drama. This was lit with a single LED tube, second native ISO. Someone photobombing my shot. A bit more of a narrative feel on this one. Are we reaching cinematic heights yet? Shot on a bench. Second like native ISO isn't as clean as a Sony. It's a little bit noisy, but colors rendition is still good. I've not denoised, so you can pretty much see what you can get if you decide to shoot in very low light circumstances. There's a bit of lighting on the subject, but yeah, and difficult in the rain and uh, kind of atmospherics that was going on that evening. But uh, yeah, judge for yourself. So in a very high dynamic range situation, what does the straight out of camera light give you versus having a play with a grade? Just running these shots which uh, are side by side. If you haven't already seen, I posted this uh, clip uh, a few months ago. You can see it in its entirety on my channel. And uh, yeah, this is just going LUT and then grade, LUT and then grade. Back and to the left. To a little bit of a handheld drama. I used the MC21 adapter from Sigma, was able to use it with all my lenses uh, that are EF and they all worked reasonably well. If this video does well I'll post all the versions and lenses that I did in another video. I did the 85, the 24 to 70, the 100 to 300 uh, amongst others and yeah I was pretty happy with the results. Obviously on this shot it just locked onto the jacket and lost the eye or the focus but other than that the uh, other shots did work pretty well. Again threaded throughout this video you'll see shots of the 35 1.8 Lumix uh, lens. These shots are graded so take that with a pinch of salt. 
and the 50mm tracking with the MC21 adapter. Here we have the LUT and just pushing the colours a bit wildly in the grade. Not necessarily something I would do, but just to show a little bit of the codec and how it handles. 6K open gate. I didn't really test this mode particularly well. It'd be great for socials, for anamorphic shooting and multiple outputs. Yep, back with some more random shots in the forest. Hopefully you can see some detail and the autofocus at work here. Picked up subjects pretty well in most cases. Again, I think this might be the 24 to 70 and the 85 thrown in there at places. Here we see a high dynamic range shot, log footage, then the LUT, and finally a bit of a play on the grade. Noise wasn't fantastic on this shot, but yeah. And also the autofocus, it didn't lock until the third take, which when I started direct to camera, it picked up. Look, I think this camera is the best camera in its price point and possibly even better as second hand. The quality of the image, very cinematic, the colors, obviously that's subjective and debatable, but I think they are very natural and pleasing and definitely give you, whether you're a filmmaker or, a, or someone who likes to take pictures of trees and diseased leaves on, you know, autumn trees. Kidding aside, this camera only could be improved in two areas. Having no crop when you're shooting 50 frames and above and possibly better low light. However, you can get around the low light by lighting. There's just no getting around the features that the cameras offer us in the 6K open gate, the anamorphic key squeeze, the stability that the camera has, the EF glass that you can use via the MC21 adapter, the shutter angle. I mean, there are cameras twice its price that do not come with these features. Anyway, that's enough for me. I just want to encourage you to hit that like button if you haven't already. And or if you have any comments or thoughts about this video, please do um, drop them in the comments. Let's try and push this one up the algorithm and uh, hopefully I can deliver you another video. See you all on the next one. Bye now.